Welcome back, nail crew. As you can tell from the title, I am doing Kylie Jenner inspired nails. Don't judge me, okay? Don't write any comments about the Jenners and the Kardashians and all that crap. I don't want to hear it. Literally, the other day, I was scrolling on IG and her lip kit came up. Now, I don't own any of her makeup or anything like that, but the pink and the dark pink kind of blended in and it reminded me of ombre nails. And I was like, wow, that will look so dope on my nails, especially with that glitter on top. I was like, oh my God, I have to do it. So I went into my polish stash. You guys, if you don't know, listen, I got like a thousand nail polishes. So to try and copy that darker color on top of the lips, I went with LA Colors in the color family ties and then to copy the bottom part of the lips the lighter pink i went with la colors impression that's the name of the nail polish i got them from family dollar but i've also seen this brand at walmart they were about let's say about two dollars each so super affordable Listen, if you don't know by now, I am all about saving the coins, okay? I am all about looking good on a budget. So if I could get the same effect with $2 polish as you would with $10 polish, hey, I'm going to go with the $2. The glitter that I'm using today, I got on clearance from Michaels. It came in a pack of 12. But I've also seen glitter at Walmart, the dollar store, um, family dollar and other places like that. I'm just using regular craft glitter. There is nothing special about it. Um, so feel free to just use whatever glitter that you have laying around. Before we go any further, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much in advance. Now at this point, I'm going to speed the video up because I don't want it to be too long. I will insert clips here and there if it's something that I don't want you to miss or if it's something that I feel the video went a little too fast on, okay? So don't worry about that. And then you always have the option of pausing or rewinding it. The basic principle of an ombre nail is that you have two colors that complement each other and they blend in the middle. So when you have your makeup sponge, you wanna put the lighter color on first, and then you're gonna take your darker color and brush it on top of that. And you wanna make sure that right in the middle where they meet, the colors are blended together. So I pause the video at the top right hand corner of the screen, take a look at that and just look how the colors are separated but then they also blend in the middle once you're happy with the way that it looks on the sponge the next step is to just dab it on the nail you can literally dab it or you can do a rolling motion if you watch the video i kind of go back and forth between the two methods because sometimes the color transfers better with a dab and sometimes it transfers better with a roll so i just go back and forth between each method and then i just apply polish and keep repeating that step over and over until the colors and the nail looks as bright and as vivid as i like i think i did about two to three coats on each nail that is personal preference you can do one coat maybe even up to four it's totally up to you um, but i think three coats gave it the brightness that I was looking for and it made me feel like I was accomplishing my goal, the Kylie Jenner lip kit nails. So um, just keep watching and tell me what you think at the end. Let me know if I nailed it or not. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like I am doing a good job. I feel like if Kylie was here, she would think that these nails were a good representation of her lipstick. Yep. So I'm just going to pat myself on the back. Hello. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Time for the fun part, the glitter. So I'm just going to paint my nails just to get it sticky enough for the glitter to stick to it and just sprinkle the glitter right on. And this is going to be the top of the lips where the glitter was. That's what this nail is supposed to be. And you know what? Let's do some more glitter. So I think I'm going to do glitter on this finger and then 
on my middle finger because you can never have too much glitter. I mean, look at the lips. Look at the picture she has on her lip kit. The lip is just dripping in glitter. So I have to do at least two fingers of glitter. This is gonna be a full nail of glitter. And I think on the middle finger, I'm just going to do maybe just the top portion. And that will kind of look like her lips because she has kind of like the top part dripping down into the bottom part. So not only is the lip color an ombre, but then it's like glitter ombre, glitter fade. So that's what I'm gonna try to make this middle finger look like. So let's see, let's see if I could get it right. Also, don't forget to clean up as you go. Glitter is so messy. It's hard to play with glitter and not make a mess. So just have some acetone or nail polish remover nearby and use an old brush if you have it, maybe even like an old makeup brush or a craft brush and clean up the edges as you go because dried nail polish and glitter on your fingers is a pain to remove. So I just like to do it before the nail polish dries. The nail polish that I used in this video was not a gel polish, it was a regular nail polish. So once it's dry to the touch, then you could go in with your top coat. You can use a regular top coat, but I'm using a gel top coat. I really like the way the gel lasts longer and it gives it a better shine to me. And then also I don't have to wait for it to dry again. I literally put my hand in the lamp for 60 seconds and I'm ready to go. So I always prefer to go on top of my nails with a gel, whether I use a regular polish or not. Also, don't forget to seal in your polish by capping the tips with um, some of that gel polish. Just run a small layer over the edges of each of your fingernails and it will increase the longevity of your polish and it'll stop it from just wearing away and peeling back from the tips. Once you've applied the top coat to all your nails, cure them and then apply a second coat. Now, when I used to get my nails done in the salon, I noticed they would only apply one layer of top coat but I've learned that the first layer of top coat is what seals in the color, protects the color and the design, also helps to protect the acrylic. But it's the second layer of top coat that really makes the nail shine. So if you notice with one coat of top coat, you know, you'll have a nice shine, maybe for about three or four days, and then the nail polish starts to look dull. It's because they've only applied one layer. So don't neglect that second layer of top coat. It really makes a difference in the quality of shine that you're gonna get on your nails. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe off that sticky layer, the inhibition layer that the gel leaves behind with some alcohol. And then I'm gonna do my right hand off camera because I really feel like I'm going to be on the struggle bus. Like <laughs> me doing nails with my left hand is not the best thing to watch. So I'll do that off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Both hands are done. The right hand went smoother than I anticipated. So yes, Thank you, nail gods, <laughs> high five, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna insert some clips of what my nails look like. I am so proud of myself. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I nailed it? Do they look like Kylie Jenner's lip kit? Let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. See you in the next video.